today we're going to use bands. Make sure you pick the resistance that's right for you. The great thing about bands is they're lightweight. You can take them anywhere you go. Use them at lunchtime. They're awesome. All right, so we're going to start with a squat. So keep your hands up in the supine position, palms up, and holding it in a bicep curl. We're squatting and dropping the butt down. Okay, watch your alignment here, keep your chest lifted. Now the thing about bands is you need to choose a resistance that's right for you. Now we want to work with a higher repetition range, so I've chosen the weight that's right for me. And let's turn this into a press. Now here, you're just going to start with a press. Now if you want more resistance, go wider, less resistance, a more narrow stance, less resistance again, hold it lower in the squat. Now let's add the squat and the press. So work in the shoulders here. Go through it. Keep your shoulders pressed down. Don't let them hunch up by your ears. Up. Now hold one arm up and then the other arm. It's going to press. Up. Two more. Switch sides. Down slow, up, so slowing it down, so no momentum here. So we're working the muscles, and we're also raising the heart rate here. Two more, nice and slow, and, and drop it down. Whew. Okay, so we're gonna hold the arms up, we're gonna do a bicep curl. Now here what you have to be mindful of is don't excessively arch your back, you want a neutral spine. Shoulders lined up over your hips and your knees are always slightly bent. That takes the shock and the impact off the low back, helps you maintain alignment. All right, you're gonna hold one arm up, other arm is going to bicep curl. Now what you wanna also be careful to watch is that you're not doing wrist curls, you're doing bicep curls. So keep your wrist firmly fixed and neutral. Hold it up here, other arm. Other arm, pressing up. Now try and take that bicep contraction all the way up to the top. So squeeze, three, four, almost there. And two more. And hold it here. Add the squat. Hold this bicep contraction. We're going to add a contraction just at the top of the movement. So partial repetition here. Breathe through it. Squatting down. Squat is great because it raises your heart rate. Brings a lot of muscles into play. The muscles of the large legs and of course the core is involved. Okay, we're going to Add the press, so we're gonna squat, press, and down. Up, press, and hold. Now with the bands, you have to be careful that, you know, if you wanna release the resistance all the way and you're really tired, then do so, but Ideally, you want to always maintain that the band remains taut, so no excess slack. That's one, and hold it here. All right, we're gonna stand with one foot underneath the band. You're gonna press up, and you're gonna extend up to the ceiling, arms up and down. Now I'm going to step forward and get the band rubbing against my body. You don't want that. Exhale. Now what you want to be careful to watch is keep your abdominals pulling tight and your elbows up to the ceiling. Four, three, two, and one. Release. Take it 
into shoulder width stance. And then lateral raises. Now here, have your elbows up in line with your shoulders. Stay lifted, pelvic tilt, and track the abdominals. And whenever you need a quick drink of water, take a quick break. Try and stay with me. I want this to be a productive, solid 12 minutes. Hold. All right, now here you're gonna hold this one side taut. Gonna go with the right hand first. And four more. Three, two. Hold it up there, hold. Slow it down, halfway down. And then all the way. Breathing. Okay, hold this other side. Up, lateral raise. Isolating one side. One side at a time. Keep that arm lifted. Four more. Also want to think about it if you're pouring tea. So dip that hand down. Last one. Hold it up there. Hold, hold. And halfway down. Hold, hold, hold. All the way down nice and slow. You're going to hold the band on one side at your hip and the other side is going to be overhead. Now here, you want to adjust it so that hand is here, you're going to slide your hand down and adjust the tension so that it is taut and provides the amount of resistance that's right for you. So what you're going to do is extend and down. I'm going to make an adjustment here with the band outside. Okay, now also adjust the lower hand. I'm just holding it at my waist. And one arm tricep extension. Back of the arm is a trouble spot for a lot of people. A lot of women usually complain about this spot. We want to tighten it up. Now add the other arm so that you're extending. Shoulder distance apart, and tilt, four more, and last one, hold it down, okay, other side, so you're going to take the other hand, hold it at your waist, here's where you can you know, double it up, hold it at your waist, adjust the tension, up overhead, just starting with that arm, so as I go, I find I need more resistance, I'm just going to hold down a little lower. So this is where having other bands that are different um, degrees of difficulty are a good idea, because then you can switch it up. If you need more resistance, switch up your band. It's great. Great to travel with these, great to take them to work, get something at lunchtime, make it quick, make it count. All right, adding the lower arm and adding the squat. Straight arm down. So now we're bringing both triceps in. And breathing. Four more. Three, two, and one. Now this is 
really helpful for posture. Stay lifted. Now, keeping the knees slightly bent. Pull it in. Keeping the elbows in close. Now you want to contract and squeeze the upper back. Stay tall. Squeezing your scapula together. So imagine that you have a pencil right on top of your, the middle of your spine and you're squeezing it in place. Okay, now we're going to open the elbows out, still targeting the back, pulling it. Breathe through it, keep it strong. Now let's increase the tempo. So, same action, fast and furious. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, and hold. All right, release, shake it out. You're gonna just extend one leg, start with one leg and hold, and then the next progression is two, two leg hold. Now, kind of balancing on your sit bones, stay up nice and tall. Now, the bend actually helps you maintain your. Uh, your balance here. So just an isometric abdominal hold, hold, hold. Now drop down and up, drop down and up. And again, you can do this with one hand, sorry, rather one leg. And last one. Now again, straight legs, a little more challenging. Hold, hold, hold. And drop it down. Stretching it out. Now this is a great tool for also assisting in stretching. So close, keep your chest lifted, and just stretching the hamstrings, which always means stretching. And release. And come straight across. Stretch that shoulder and tricep. Here we go with the tricep. And straight across. 